hello guys welcome back to the channel it's a bit uh, noisy behind me that's from the AC and also a bit windy but today I want us to talk about the uh, Vivita sky tracker video drone and uh, this is going to be just a short video to show you guys how to start up really quick so I start first by turning on the drone and that you do it by pressing the button there and you see the lights come on and then next you have the lights flashing you turn on the controller you press the button once if you look deep there you see the lights it's flashing so once you hear the drone starts flashing uh, beeping you do up and then down and then the noise stops the lights go solid just wait for a few moments they start flashing that tells you they are ready to be uh, calibrated so to calibrate the drone here's what I do you start first with the horizontal calibration just spin it clockwise spin it clockwise keep spinning until the lights two of the lights turn turn solid so I keep going keep turning keep turning and you see the green lights in the back have turned solid so the horizontal calibration is done now we go to the vertical you have the drone pointing downwards like that and you keep turning and turning it's kind of hard but let's do it i'll hold it from the prop and i'll keep turning and turning it already turned solid <laughs> i don't trust it i don't know if it calibrated correctly but it's solid so that tells me the drone is ready for takeoff and to take off you get the drone ready to fly by pressing the up down button right there you get the prop spinning like that now the props are is the prop is spinning and then now i can push on here to take off boom just like that that's how you fly the uh, vivita sky tracker drone Go up down but the thing doesn't have a very good gps system so it's very easy for it to drift as you guys can see it doesn't have sensors like some of the mavic drones from dji so uh you just have to be careful today it's a bit windy if you look at the trees out there it's a bit blustery so the drone is uh, all over the place but that's just to illustrate to you guys how you can start your drone easily uh the wind is catching it so let me drop it down if there's no serious wind then the drone is uh, actually okay to fly but if it's just even a little bit windy it becomes tricky to fly the drone i really like the drone it looks beautiful it looks sharp uh, but it's a handful to fly once it gets a little windy outside when it's dark you really uh you can enjoy those colors all those bright colors so even as I'm filming, I have to follow it because it's uh, it's drifting somehow. You guys can see. It doesn't have the optical uh, sensors to help it with stabilization. So, otherwise, it's a very great drone. You know, it's a good starter drone. Back there, you can see the lights indicating the battery, how much you have left. Uh, underneath, you have the camera, and the camera actually has a spot for an SD card. So you can put an SD card on there and uh, yeah so that's what I had to share with you guys today it's a very easy drone to crash if you don't have the calibration done before you take off so always calibrate each time before you go flying all right so I'll push down for it to land and I haven't tried any of the automatic features uh, the drone is just too squirrely for me to try that uh, but otherwise if you have everything calibrated correctly the drone should fly without any issue so there you go guys that's how you start your uh, Vivita video drone GPS video recording thank you for watching I will catch you guys in the next one